Are you curious about strange changes on your skin? Let's explore the mystery beneath the surface, where harmless looking moles and spots might be hiding a secret danger. Have you ever thought about skin changes and the possibility of skin cancer? Imagine if those marks are silent signals of a battle going on inside. In our journey, we uncover stories of actors, athletes, and everyday heroes confronting an unexpected enemy, melanoma. Are you prepared to reveal the mystery and understand the importance of being aware? Stick around as we dive into a world where your skin's whispers are like clues, and spotting them early is crucial. When was the last time you paid attention to your skin story? The discoveries might be more interesting than you think. Diane, a vibrant actress with a bustling life, began to notice changes in some moles and spots on her skin. Concerned about the possibility of skin cancer, she wisely booked an appointment with her general practitioner, GP. Following an examination, the GP recommended consulting a dermatologist for a more detailed evaluation. At the dermatologist's office, a specialist examined Diane's skin and decided to conduct a biopsy, a procedure where a small sample of the affected area is taken for closer inspection. Anxious about the results, Diane continued with her daily routine, juggling her professional commitments. Upon returning to the dermatologist's office, the specialist delivered the news with a heavy word, melanoma. Cancer, a term that carries substantial weight, suddenly became a part of Diane's reality. The specialist took the time to explain the situation to her in a way that she could understand, detailing the nature of melanoma and its potential implications. This unexpected turn in Diane's life prompted discussions about treatment options, further tests, and the importance of early detection. The specialist assured Diane that they would navigate this journey together, providing support and guidance. As Diane absorbed the information, Doctor, what is melanoma? Melanoma, which means black tumor, is the most dangerous type of skin cancer. It grows quickly and has the ability to spread to any organ. Melanoma comes from skin cells called melanocytes. These cells produce melanin, the dark pigment that gives skin its color. Most melanomas are black or brown in color, but some are pink, red, purple or skin colored. About 30% of melanomas begin in existing moles, but the rest start in normal skin. This makes it especially important to pay attention to changes in your skin because the majority of melanomas don't start as moles. However, how many moles you have may help predict your skin's risk for developing melanoma. It's important to know if you're in a high-risk group for developing melanoma skin cancer. Because of the fast growth rate of melanomas, a treatment delay sometimes may mean the difference between life and death. Knowing your risk can help you be extra vigilant in watching changes in your skin and seeking skin examinations since melanomas have a 99% cure rate if caught in the earliest stages. Early detection is important because treatment success is directly related to the depth of the cancerous growth. Doctor, how common is melanoma? Melanoma accounts for only about 1% of all skin cancers, but causes the great majority of skin cancer-related deaths. It's one of the most common cancers in young people under 30, especially in young women. Melanoma incidence has dramatically increased over the past 30 years. It's widely accepted that increasing levels of ultraviolet UV, exposure are one of the main reasons for this rapid rise in the number of melanoma cases. Doctor, where can I get melanoma on my body? You can get melanoma on any area of your body. Melanoma can even form on your eyes and internal organs. Men are more prone to develop melanoma on their trunk, often the upper back. Women are more likely to have melanoma on their legs. Doctor, what are the signs of melanoma? Knowing how to spot melanoma is important because early melanomas are highly treatable. Melanoma can appear as moles, scaly patches, open sores, or raised bumps. Asymmetry, one half does not match the other half. Border, the edges are not smooth. Color, the color is mottled and uneven, with shades of brown, black, gray, red, or white. Diameter, the spot is greater than the tip of a pencil eraser, 6.0 millimeters. Evolving, the spot is new or changing in size, shape, or color. Or any sores that won't go away, unusual bumps or rashes or changes in your skin or in any existing moles. 
Another tool to recognize melanoma is the ugly duckling sign. If one of your moles looks different from the others, it's the ugly duckling and should be seen by a dermatologist. Doctor, what causes melanoma? Most experts agree that a major risk factor for melanoma is overexposure to sunlight, especially sunburns when you are young. Statistics tell us that 86% of melanomas are caused by solar ultraviolet UV, rays. Doctor, how does the sun cause skin cancer? UV exposure can cause damage to a cell's DNA, making changes to particular genes that affect how cells grow and divide. The potential for problems comes when your skin's DNA is damaged and those cells start reproducing. UV radiation from tanning beds also increases the risk of melanoma and has been designated as a carcinogen, cancer-causing, by the World Health Organization. Tanning bed use may be related to over over 6,000 cases of melanoma per year. Although anyone can develop melanoma, an increased risk for developing the disease is seen in people with a personal history of melanoma, a family history of melanoma, fair skin, freckles, blonde or red hair and blue eyes, excess sun exposure, including blistering sunburns and address near the equator or in high elevations, living in these locations may increase your UV exposure. A history of tanning bed use. Many moles, especially atypical moles. A weakened immune system. Melanoma is more common in white people, but it can occur in people of all skin types. People with darker skin most often get melanoma on their palms, saws, and nails. Doctor, how is melanoma diagnosed? If you have a mole or other spot that looks suspicious, your doctor may remove it and look at it under the microscope to see if it contains cancer cells. This is called a biopsy. After your doctor receives the skin biopsy results showing evidence of melanoma cells, the next step is to determine if the melanoma has spread. This is called staging. Once diagnosed, melanoma will be categorized based on several factors, such as how deeply it is spread and its appearance under the microscope. Tumor thickness is the most important characteristic in predicting outcomes. Melanomas are grouped into the following stages. Stage 0, melanoma in situ The melanoma is only in the top layer of skin, the epidermis. Stage I, low-risk primary melanoma with no evidence of spread. This stage is generally curable with surgery. Stage 2, features are present that indicate higher risk of recurrence, but there is no evidence of spread. Stage 3, the melanoma has spread to nearby lymph nodes or nearby skin. Stage 4, the melanoma has spread to more distant lymph nodes or skin or has spread to internal organs. Doctor, what tests are used to stage melanoma? There are several tests your doctor can use to stage your melanoma. Your doctor may use these tests, sentinel lymph node biopsy, diagnosed via a sentinel lymph node biopsy have higher survival rates than those diagnosed with melanoma in lymph nodes via physical exam. Computed tomography, CT, scan, a CT scan can show if melanoma is in your internal organs. Magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, scan, an MRI scan is used to check for melanoma tumors in the brain or spinal cord. Positron emission tomography, PET, scan, a PET scan can check for melanoma in lymph nodes and other parts of your body distant from the original melanoma skin spot. Blood work, blood tests may be used to measure lactate dehydrogenase, LDH, before treatment. Other tests include blood chemistry levels and blood cell counts.